Okay, so we will resume now and look at uh, more with the texture nodes. And we have uh, image, movie, and pixel texture we'll look at today. And we'll also look at the uh, line properties and fill properties. So let's go to uh, movie texture. So as we saw, the, the texture nodes, texture nodes were carefully designed so that different types of 2D images might be used interchangeably. And uh, image texture, of course, takes our, our basic uh, 2D image of a variety of formats, converts pixels into a S and T coordinate system so we can reference it, and lets us drape it on geometry. Well, movie texture, we can take this advantage of this same approach. Um, uh, is distinguished by movie texture because we give it a few other controls that an image wouldn't have, but it does share the URL field, of course. Where is it? And uh, we can drape it on there. Now, I want to warn you that uh, you might want to be uh, careful about it, use it sparingly, because the files can be quite large, and that means delay when you're downloading them. Uh, you might not notice it on, on your machine because you have a local copy, but the uh, end user is getting it across the web, that might be quite a while. If the movie has been set to have the streaming bit set, though, that might be all right. It depends on the, the browser whether they can handle that in the, in the movie formats they support. The streaming bit in a movie means that it can start to render even before the whole movie gets there. So that is a uh, file format issue that depends on each file type, whether it works. And of course we have to point out that it's computationally expensive, meaning it takes a lot of processing, you want a fast machine, and it might slow things down. However, whenever we get back to computation thing, We've got to ask, is that still the case? Because processors keep getting faster and faster. What was slow last year might not be slow today. Um, a lot of the graphics cards have done very well at optimizing for video, optimizing for graphics. We're starting to see them uh, work on optimizing for one with the other at the same time. So uh, your mileage may vary. If it's uh, just for you, for a demo, then great. You can test it, run it, and, and, and uh, have a ball. If you are deploying it, then you probably want to test it on a few different machines, maybe a few different browsers, and ensure that your end users are getting the right experience. Okay, now when it comes to applying videos, well, we certainly don't have a video of the whole Earth that we would apply to an Earth-scale globe. I mean, it, it, it's still possible to overwhelm hardware, but it also doesn't always make very much sense because video when it's shot is usually captured in a way that it should be played back on a flat surface. That's just the way it is. There's usually not special techniques post-processing the, processing the video. So it usually makes sense to play it back on a flat surface in your 3D world. And so uh, We don't have to get utterly creative about this thing. It can just be pretty straightforward. Now, uh, there are a few gotchas on, on authoring that uh, can help. One is putting it in the world on a flat uh, box, on a, on a quadrilateral, can make it easy to see. But if that flat box is on the wall somewhere and you're sort of looking the other way and it's just in the periphery of your camera, then it will be warped and hard to see. So one technique is put a billboard over it so that it's always facing the user. That can be great to just keep it there. It might not be great if the billboard is swinging through other geometry and looking unreal in the world. Another technique is to put a viewpoint 
in front of it so that the user can just go there when they want to watch the video. You've made it easy for them. The viewpoint's at the right distance, so the, the video will fit in their screen pretty well. Hopefully not get cut off. You can have a little extra space on the side. And, and uh, they've got a clean view then when they want to do it. Uh, another technique is you might put just a single screenshot of the video uh, as a plain old image texture and then use an anchor node that you would click on it and send it out to another scene. So let's go ahead and do some authoring now and uh, uh, look at those uh, possibilities. Let's go ahead and just create a new scene in X3D Edit. So I'll click on New X3D Scene and we'll call this Movie Texture Display Options. Okay, and I will uh, go ahead and save it as that file name and We'll want to put it in the right directory. So I could search up and down, but I'll just use one of my shortcuts here. And X3D for Web Authors, Chapter 5, Copy, Beginning of Line, Paste, Backslash, Enter. Okay, so here we go. I'll fill in. Well, let's, let's go ahead and look even at the metadata tag. How do we do this? Um, you know, if I take time in class to do something, it's important. It's good to do. So this is the practice you should do when you're making your scenes on how to document things. So right now, let's say, what does this thing do? Well, we want to say, uh, uh, provide examples of helpful movie texture usage. And gee, wouldn't that spell checking feature be nice right now? But, uh, so this will be me plus you guys if we get your input says we go here. So we didn't translate it. We're just going to write it. Today's date is the 21st. And once again we didn't translate it so we don't need a translation date but we will keep the modification date as today because we'll probably change it again. Version, you might like version numbers, a lot of people do, I don't, I, it gets too obscure. I, if you have an update date, to me that's the version number, is what date did you last do it. And references, well, don't have anyone specific to this file, not giving any images just yet, so we can clear out all of these things. Subject, these are keywords for search engines or for catalogs, so I think we could just say movie texture examples, probably the keywords. We're not constraining access rights, so we won't put that. We'll put a warning until we're done that it's under development. So if somebody sees it or you, you mail it around or something, then okay, it's clear that it wasn't quite done, and that's a uh, heads up to me to put that in there. And finally, where's the online address for this, if we have one? Well, uh, in this case, we are going to put this example online. I think it would be a good, helpful one to have in there. So let's get that URL elaborated. We'll put it under the Chapter 5 examples. Okay, there we go there. It was generated with X3D Edit. The license is going to be one directory up from that. And we don't need that helpful comment. 
Okay, so we've got a scene ready to go here. What's next? Well, if we want to put a movie texture in, what should we do first? Familiar question, right? Uh, movie texture, oh, that belongs in appearance. Appearance, oh, that belongs in shape. And then we can put geometry to match. So, all right, shape, we need a shape node. And since we want a flat surface to put it on, why don't we put it on a, uh, a, a box? Now, what's going on with my palette here? There we go. Shape, drop that in. That prompts us on everything. All right, we'll start with a box and drop that in. And I'm going to put a comment here, a to do will be replace that box with a quadrilateral. Now we don't have uh, a node for that per se. We'll see when we, we do polygons that we can make an index face set there and define a four-sided polygon. But for today, a box is good enough. All right, and then uh, we don't care about material. We care about movie texture. So I'll just abscond with the uh, comment here and turn it into a tag. I think, let's, uh-oh. Try again here, movie texture. Okay, that looks like a box with a movie texture. Let's draw it. Maybe not. That one's pretty hard to screw up. What's going on here, X3, XJ3D? Well, so much for that. Say again, Jeff? It looks like you only have end tabs. You don't have, you only have the tabs that go at the end for the box. Let's see, so it might not be valid. Let's check. No, it's, it's got open close tags. It's passing validation. Well, let's just press on. We'll use another browser if we need to. So now we want to edit it. Let's look at the fields now for movie texture. We see that, well, there's a bunch of stuff here we haven't quite covered in the chapter. We're going to go to next. And there's a simple URL that we want to put a movie in. Okay, so let's just leave that blank. And now we'll put what examples might we want. Okay, so comment. Uh, first example is uh, flat surface movie against a wall. Okay, then what's the next example we might want to do? Flat surface movie under a billboard to always face the user. And then we might have one uh, to launch movie into external scene, external browser. Okay, so what are we going to do here? Well, we could use the same movie each time, right? Because all we're trying to do is turn it or place it or, or launch it. So why don't we def, not the movie, not the box, but the whole shape. And I'll call it our movie shape. And so now we'll be able to reuse that. For a flat surface movie under a billboard, uh, what do we need to start that? Well, we need a transform to put it in the right place so these aren't all on top of each other. And so why don't we push that off to the right by uh, two. That validated. Let's uh, 
push the other one off to the right. Oh, we didn't enter a transform before, so we could cut and paste it and stick it in, or I'll just wrap a new parent around the element. Use that from the context menu, find transform. Okay, there it is. Let's send this one off to the left. Let's send this off to negative two, maybe negative three. Okay, we're still valid. And keep one in the center, and then the other one off at positive three, so we should end up with three different uh, movies. Okay, so what is the movie we want? Well, it's already there on a shape, so let's drag our shape in for Add Children Nodes, and this time we'll click on Use, and lo and behold, it's it already knows that there's a shape in there called movie, and it didn't list all of the, the def nodes, it just listed the ones for the type you wanted, so you can't make a mistake and mix up what you want. So that's good. Right there, we've got a shape. And then we'll put that same shape there in a third place. Okay, so what do we want to do next? Well, if this guy is under a billboard, then we should stick a billboard over it. So again, we'll wrap a new parent around it. There's our billboard. And the axis of rotation around billboard, okay, keep it level to the ground. That's probably okay. If we have a ground plane that we're walking around on, that's usually the case. Uh, certainly it will be in this scene, so we'll go, okay, fine. We'll rotate about Y axis, and we're still valid. Now this one is uh, launch the movie into an external browser. Okay, well, how do we do that? Well, we want to have an anchor node that if clickable, we can uh, uh, launch it separately. So let's wrap a new parent around this guy. We'll stick with anchor, our first choice. And uh, under URL, I'll put insert uh, the movie. Actually, uh, why don't we do it this way? My movie dot mov. And our link is uh, going to say click to launch in external browser. Then our parameter is actually something we don't often use, but here we definitely care about. It's the pass parameter that signals the web browser how to redirect that URL loading. Okay, so we want to send it somewhere else. What is the magic incantation to put in there? Well, that's a frequently asked question. So we could probably find it in a few places. One place, perhaps my, my favorite place, would be this book right here. Another place is, oh, it's likely in the tooltips, if it's a frequent thing. So let's go to Help, Watch the Tooltips, and then find Movie Texture on here. Actually, I think it's going to jump to Movie Texture. This It's a little sluggish, but we'll give it a chance here. Yeah, I think it's still loading. We'll have a race. Well, we'll see how long our Java, silly Java help takes. Um, by the way, that's my pet peeve. I like almost everything in Java except Java help. I don't know why they don't put a little more time into that. Anyway, we'll go, we'll go the other way around and see if we can't beat it. We'll go to uh, X3D resources and then authoring support and then tool tips, pick your spoken language of interest, and then finally uh, movie texture, and we go, okay, URL, got one of those, loop, speed, start time, blah, blah, blah. Uh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, it's not movie texture, it's anchor that we wanted. Anchor, URL, parameter, here we are. Hint, set parameter to target equals frame name to load the target URL into another frame. Okay, so, actually that's for a named one. The other hint is maybe even more useful. Hint, set the parameter to target equals underscore blank. 
to put it into another blank frame. So I'm going to copy target equals underscore blank. We found our answer. We'll go back. Did the help ever catch up? No. Dreadful. Not very helpful. So we'll just get it out of there. Here's our parameter. Target equals underscore blank. And that will launch it into a separate place. Okay, so we're looking pretty good. This scene is taking shape, uh, if I can say that. It's, it's lining up to be pretty useful. Uh, this shape here, though, we don't want to put the movie under the clickable billboard, right? Because we wanted to put just a simple image there. So, uh, press on here, hitting the save button frequently. And so let's put a new shape under there to replace that used shape. Uh, yeah, your instincts are correct. I'll show you. We're not going to use uh, inline. We're going to use uh, just another box. But this time, uh, I think I really sent it into a tailspin here. Okay, Jeff, so we'll take a break in the, you might want to mark the time, we're about 30 minutes into it. Uh, I'm just going to restart X3D edit. By the way, while I'm doing this, uh, I was debating, I should have asked you guys at the beginning, would you like to see me create a scene? But that's sort of a loaded question. So now that I'm doing it, are you glad that I'm actually going down into the how do we create one of these? Is this useful? It's not too uh, rudimentary for you all. There's often a lot of value in seeing somebody else uh, author. I, I definitely like watching how you guys do it and, and learn something new or see some unexpected issue that I hadn't seen before. Okay, we'll run it again. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, movie night. YouTube 3D. We don't have a date yet. If you guys have a particular Thursday that works for you, or maybe YouTube song. So we had the next three Thursdays. So the Savage Group decided, uh, yeah, we're going to do movie nights for YouTube 3D. They, I, I, I thought it was a toss-up, but they, they wanted to see that over, uh, or other choices. Uh, Journey to, yeah, Star Clone Wars, or, which is just the animation, uh, but it's but 3D animation, or uh, Journey to the Center of the Earth. Brendan Fraser, Journey to the Center of the Earth just tanked. Nobody wanted that. But, uh, Every studio would have like a YouTube song. Okay. The other, the other cool part about it is it's down at the IMA, new IMAX downtown. And I think the reason it's still showing is uh, I read once that the IMAX distribution model is the theaters buy the movie. They don't rent the movie. So once they have it, they have it. And so that's why I haven't worried about missing the darn thing. But has anybody been down to the IMAX downtown? See, so here's our excuse to, you know, make a tax-deductible visit to uh, the local display emporium. Uh, so Thursday nights seem to be a uh, consensus in the other group. Is that of all the nights in the week you think you can get uh, permission to go out on? Okay. So, so uh, since they did most of the choosing but seemed to be pretty solid consensus, I said, okay, you guys get to pick the date. 
that will all go out. So next three Thursdays, what date? Anybody? Specific. Any replies yet on that? Does that mean you're picking, Kevin? Well, I don't get to make decisions since I got married. Well, if they don't. <laughs> um, we have the 28th, which is next week, uh, the one after the one after, I would say within the next two weeks, I think September 4th, probably to the 11th. Probably might work better because they'll put us out of range of uh, finals. Finals. Okay. So September fourth. Fred, you got uh, access to an IMAX theater up there in the uh, Greater New England area. But in Providence, sure. Okay. So we're on our way then. Okay, so we'll get back to the uh, scene now then. All right, so we have our editor starting to behave a little bit after I overclicked it on the Java help. We'll say this time instead of using that movie, we will still have a box and still have a movie texture, excuse me, still have a box and still have an appearance, but we are going to use an image texture instead of a movie texture. And further, uh, if our movie was called mymovie.mov, we should put that up here in the first instance of movie texture. So I'll edit that, put that in. Okay, and then we should put it down here in image texture, but wait a minute, we can't put a movie into an image, so what are we gonna put? Uh, oh yeah, we're gonna put my movie first frame dot JPEG or something like that, okay? Now, what movie are we going to use? Well, obviously, those are made-up names. We need a movie now. Gee, uh, Jeff, you think you can get us a movie? And the URL? Uh, no, let's, let's create a little movie, uh, something like a clip of... Uh, uh, how about me saying, this is a test movie? Something short and sweet, and just right there, so it doesn't make the examples big. We could also choose anything on YouTube or whatever you like. A picture of your uh, cats at home or something. I can give you the um, URL for a. Uh, so. Bolt say again? Uh, I might suggest Bolt winning the 200. Bolt winning the 200, yeah, that was uh, pretty awesome. If you get the New York Times, they had a, uh, a uh, statistical distribution of all the run times, uh, which was pretty cool. And he and Johnson are way off to the left. The, uh, the outliers compared to the big pile of the other 250 highest times. Um, yeah, that was a great, uh, great event last night. Okay, so here is our anchor, here is our image texture, and we're going to link to launch that. All right, so I think for now we will leave that as is, as a, as a good example and I'll tweak it up, test it a little bit, and then uh, next time around we'll look at the final product. Okay, so we showed you here just some hands-on examples of how are you using image texture, how are you using movie texture, how do we put it together. Um, I, I think we actually could add maybe one more thing, and that is if we're going to put it online, we should put two URLs for each thing. Uh, so let's do that. What I'm doing is simply copying the URL and on the second one I will put the online address so that the tool can go either way. OK, 
Okay, that's a wrap for now. Let's go back to the slides then and see what else we can say about movie texture. Now that we have those three examples coming up. Well, uh, if you want to control it, there are a bunch of fields here. Until we do event passing, in chapter 7, a little later, these are uh, maybe not directly actionable by you, maybe not, you can't quite do them yet, but you can see what they are, and so th it's, it's actually quite controllable. Speed, we usually do at 1. Interestingly, we can not only make it go faster, but we can make it go in reverse, even slower or faster in reverse. And then there are events for starting and stopping, for pausing and resuming. The difference being if you stop it and then start it, it restarts at the beginning. Whereas if you pause it and resume it, it resumes right where it was. And then active or paused or other booleans that tell you where it's at. Duration changed is often a helpful event. Uh, it tells you how long the movie is. And you even get that uh, when you first load it so that other parts of your scene can decide, well, I will wait 7.2 seconds for that 7.2 second movie to finish before I start my activity. Elapsed time is another helpful thing. If you want a number that you're perhaps putting in the display or sending to a script to figure out how far, that's how you go. Another important partner node for movie sensor is uh, load sensor, excuse me, for movie texture is load sensor, which will tell you when it's loaded. Okay, now something I did sort of implicitly when we dropped the movie in was def and use. Why is def and use so important? Because if you don't reuse it, it will go down and pull in copies of that whole movie. So if it was big before, it's twice as big or three times as big when you do it again. There are the hints. The final thing on movie texture, is if you go into the notes for this, you will find uh, uh, examples. And there they are. The examples are on the uh, NIST conformance suite. And we have two, six, 10, about 11, ex even more than that, maybe 15 examples here of movie textures. OK, that's it for today. See you next time.